5 The Wave. This is Doug Brooks and The Morning Show. 89.5 89.5 The Wave, KCFB Ferguson. You are listening to. You're listening to. You're listening to Doug, Doug Brooks and, and the Morning, morning Show. Show. That is right. It is the Doug Brooks and the Morning Show. That we changed it up a little bit. We went back to the old name because the Doug Brooks and the Morning Show is a product of the Doug Brooks Show. Because, well, one, I don't have to do so much production work, and two, there is no need for number two because number one is the main reason entirely. What's up, everybody? My name is Doug Brooks, and this is the Doug Brooks and the Morning Show. We have a whole lot in store for you. We actually got a little bit of a change of the game corner for you. We're gonna have the normal game corner, but I'm gonna add a little bit of a special spice to it. And, you know, it's going to be interesting and glorious. Mostly glorious, though. Other than that, we also got shower thoughts for you later today. We also got crap on crap, irrelevant news, and horoscopes. But, you know, that's regular for everybody. So, anyway, we got a whole lot of music in store. Some new music, some old music, some uh, Ninja Sex Party. Oh, we actually have Ninja Sex Party news later on, but I'm not going to reveal that till a little bit later on. That's cool and all, you know. I say things, you listen to them. That's how this relationship works, right? Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Like I said, my name is Doug Brooks, and this is the Doug Brooks in the Morning Show. Uh, Maestro, please turn down the background music and hit that loud song to wake up to you, Siren. Thank you very much. Today's loud song to wake up to you is brought to you by my right fingernail, the index finger, more than likely, because it needs trimming, and you need to know about it. I was going to say you need to trim it, but I need to trim it, not you. You don't need to trim it. So our last song to wake up to today is called River, and it's by an artist called Bishop. So, here it is. Loud song to wake up to. Someday we are Harlot with Someday right here on 89.5 The Wave. The Doug Brooks in the Morning Show is here for you. And it's time for one of my favorite parts. We got too many segments. And now we got to hop them all. All aboard the hype train. Hype, hype. That's right. It's hype train time. And we are hyping up Game Corner where I got some news Pokemon wise and such. And that new little bit of awesomeness I'm going to incorporate into the Game Corner. Now that Shortmender's gone and not trying to completely control the thing. Not saying he totally tried to control the thing. Because he didn't. He really didn't. Uh, I'm just... Mouth diarrhea. Anyway, here's Fake ID by Big and Rich before we get into that. So stay tuned for that and much more. Like I said, Big and Rich Fake ID. Right here on 89.5 The Way. Game Corner. That is right, it is Game Corner time, and we got some news and such. So, are you ready? Pokemon news first, of course, as always, because, well, you know, keeping a tradition of letting the past co-host uh, tradition stick around is something I like to do. Anyway, Pokemon news. Big news came out about Munchlax and Snorlax. Apparently, they're getting their own special Z-move in the Pokemon game, Pokemon Side of Moon, which is really cool if I can uh, quickly scoot over to the mouse, which is behind my laptop, and see what the name of the move is again, because I completely forget what it's called. Because it was it was something with the word pancake in it, and it made me smile. It's like, yes, okay, it's pulverizing pancake, where basically Snorlax sits on you. Like, seriously. What is one thing every fat person has always said, threatening, I'm going to sit on you. I forget what movie said that, but I think it's Austin Powers. Correct me if I'm wrong. Don't don't hate me because I don't know movies. I don't watch movies too often. Anyway, that was really cool. He just flips up, starts charging the Pokemon, and of course, they just have him jump high up in the air and just sit on you. Other big news Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon wise was the Rattata, finally getting its new form, the Alolan form, as a dark normal type with the abilities of Gluttony and Hustle, which is quite kind of interesting because 
it's very interesting because, you know, Rattaz were the uh, basic Pokemon in the world, and everybody had one. Now everybody's going to want one because it's now a new dark type, but it's probably going to be just ignored like it normally is. My question is, why does Pokemon keep trying to re-event, re re-event, re-create, sorry, I can't speak words, they're trying to recreate every old Pokemon that people didn't really care too much for. It's not that people didn't care for them, just nobody really, uh, used, uh, Rattata. Which is, it's not, not saying Rattata is a terrible Pokemon, I like Rattata, he's adorable. But, I digress, of course. We move on to the fact that there are also some other theme moves out there. The Alolan Raichu actually has its own move called... Stoked Spark Surfer. Where he's on his little surfboard power and just dives at an Aerodactyl in this video. Which is really cool, but like I said, I'm never going to use a Z-move because it's just a Poke Nuke. And that's not fair. It's ridiculous. Anyway... That's about it for Pokemon News. In my gaming world, we are uh, in the YouTube world, at least. We're in Dark Souls. Today is episode 5. I don't remember the name because I named them quite strangely for a change. So that's beside the point. We're having fun playing that. Sir Jack Evans is reborn in Dark Souls, and he is dying a lot. End of story. Because it's funny to me and it's funny to everybody because everybody loves Jack Evans dying. Sorry, Jack. It sucks to suck, bro. Anyway, now on to uh, what I'm doing currently in my real life, playing Grand Theft Auto. I'm not playing online right now, because all week I played online because it was uh, double RP and double cash week, which basically double levels and double all the money you get, blah, blah, blah. And it was fun. I got up to level 75. I leveled up 10 times in one week. It was awesome. It was like I just began the game again, and I was leveling up every five seconds. It was really cool. But, you know, also led to me breaking down, freaking out, hating everybody who was playing the game too, because every time I just wanted to get to my car, some jerk had to shoot me down for no reason. It's like, I just died. I just want to get to my car. I just want to get out of here because you keep killing me. Congratulations. You've killed me 12 times in a row now. I don't like you. Leave me alone. I literally have had to plug in my headset to tell him, dude, please stop. I'm just trying to get my car and get out of here. Eventually, he did stop, because uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who did it, but everybody pressed kick on him, and he got kicked out of the session, which is really, really sad for him. Really awesome for everybody who was playing, because he was a jerk and didn't deserve to play. Anyway, as we move on, this weekend, for the YouTube-wise, uh, more Dark Souls, and we are recording. It's recording weekend. Yay, recording weekend, which means new episodes of new games or old games. You never know are going to come out all throughout the month of September, which is really cool. Make sure to tune in for the Doug Brooks Show gaming side, which will have a new name soon because the Doug Brooks Show needs to be the company that everything outside of it is branching into. You get know what I'm saying? Because I don't. I hope somebody can explain that to me. Anyway, time for that new segment I was talking about. I need new music, please. Thank you. This news part of the Game Corner is called Gaming News, other than Pokemon and such. So here we go. The PS4 Slim is just a facelift version of the original as it was leaked as someone bought it on a, from, a, from a distributor and revealed it all of its powers and everything. Well, the Warcraft Legion is now available. Go find it wherever you want to. The Nintendo 3DS Galaxy style is now available with a cool cosmic design all over it. Resident Evil 7 is M-rated and also revealed that some of the key factor plots are to come, so make sure to find out that trailer video soon. Pokemon Go has released that its leaders are now giving appraisals for your Pokemon. Think your Pokemon strong? Get appraised by your gym leader right away. Final Fantasy 15 has DLC already, yet it is not out to come yet? Maybe even VR content in the nearby future? Don't know, that's what the creators say. Overwatch Hero Sombra hits Hits the uh, countdown clock down to zero finally. And a lot of the players are freaking out, causing their minds to explode. Battlefield 1 Beta is available for you to play right now, so I suggest if you want to play Battlefield 1, you might not have too much time, because it's set to release on oct in October. Hitman, the full season, is set to release on January 21st. So if you love the series Hitman, go play it on 21st, because all of the episodes will be available. 
Justice Monsters 5 is a Final Fantasy 5 pinball game. It is now a way for the, all the players who are waiting for Final Fantasy 15 to hit to make sure their time is spent doing something they love. Super Mario Maker is making its way to the 3DS and 2DS coming out right before Christmas season so people can buy it and have them themselves wrapped up for kids to come. And also the PlayStation Move is coming back when the PlayStation Neo has been released and revealed. And that is your entire rundown of this past week's gaming news. I'm Doug Brooks and this was The Game Corner. Up next is Chris Lane with Fix. And now let's take a quick look at weather and traffic with Doug Brooks. That's right, weather and traffic with Doug Brooks. Only Doug Brooks because that's the only person here. I fixed it. Anyway, today's weather, expect a high of 64 with a 76% chance of humidity. No chance of rain, which is awesome. Finally, a nice, comfortable day. Today's high expected to be up to 81, but the low of 59, I believe that hit this morning. So <laughs> this is going to be a wonderful day to go outside for a walk, play with your dogs, or anything else you want to do out in the outside world. As for your Labor Day weekend, expect a high of 83 and low of 60 on Saturday. On Sunday, high of 85, low of 64 on Sunday. And then back to that scorching 91 degrees on Monday with a low of 71 also. You know, I love how 2nd September hit. The weather kind of did a fluctuation. And then next week, it just kicks back up in the 90s. For all week, you'll see 90 degree weather until Thursday when it rains. And then back down to 80 degree weather on Friday. As for your traffic, there it was a stall vehicle on I-270 eastbound that has been cleared. So, have fun with that. So, no, no traffic, basically. You guys are all good. Unless you guys want to cause traffic for me, that's totally fine, too. But don't do it just for me. I beg you, please don't. I don't need a lawsuit yet. Anyway, coming up after the break, we got Brett Eldred, Starbomb, and Darius Rucker right here on 89.5 The Wave. 